The Last Stand of the Tin Can Sailors, The Extraordinary World War II Story of the U.S. Navy's Finest Hour, by James D. Horn Fisher is a gripping and meticulously researched account that brings to life the harrowing Battle of Taffy III during the Battle of Lady Gulf, a crucial confrontation in the Pacific theater of World War II. Through vivid narrative and well-documented historical analysis, Horn Fisher paints a vivid portrait of the heroic and desperate struggle of the U.S. Navy against overwhelming odds, showcasing the resilience, determination, and sacrifice of the men who fought valiantly in the face of certain doom. Horn Fisher's prose style immerses readers into the heart of the action, capturing the chaos and intensity of naval warfare. He deftly weaves together personal anecdotes of individual sailors with larger strategic considerations, providing a multi-layered perspective that humanizes the participants while also underscoring the strategic significance of their actions. By focusing on both the individual and the collective, Horn Fisher creates a powerful emotional connection that resonates deeply with the reader. One of the book's strengths lies in its portrayal of leadership under pressure. The book features profiles of key figures such as Admiral Clifton Sprague, Commander Ernest E. Evans of the USS Johnston, and Rear Admiral Thomas Sprague, among others. These men are depicted not as flawless heroes, but as individuals facing overwhelming challenges and making difficult decisions under fire. This nuanced portrayal adds depth to the narrative and underscores the immense responsibility that leadership entails in the midst of a battle. Horn Fisher also masterfully navigates the historical context, providing readers with a solid understanding of the broader strategic situation in the Pacific during World War II. He explains the significance of the Lady Gulf operation and how it fit into the larger campaign to liberate the Philippines. This contextual information is seamlessly integrated into the narrative, enhancing the reader's comprehension of the stakes involved and the impact of the battle on the war's outcome. The author's research is evident throughout the book, as he draws from a wide array of sources, including official reports, diaries, letters, and interviews with survivors. This depth of research not only lends credibility to the account but also allows for an intricate exploration of various perspectives. Horn Fisher's attention to detail is especially evident in his descriptions of naval tactics, weaponry, and ship movements. These technical explanations provide a clear picture of the challenges faced by both sides and the strategies employed during the battle. At its core, The Last Stand of the Tin Can Sailors is a tribute to the indomitable spirit of the U.S. Navy sailors. The term, Tin Can Sailors, refers to the crews of the destroyers and destroyer escorts that formed the backbone of Taffy 3's defense against the Japanese fleet. The book underscores the sailors' unwavering resolve, resourcefulness, and camaraderie in the face of overwhelming odds. Their willingness to confront insurmountable danger serves as a testament to their dedication to duty and to each other. In conclusion, James D. Hornfisher's The Last Stand of the Tin Can Sailors is a masterful work of historical storytelling that captures the essence of a pivotal World War II battle. Through vivid prose, meticulous research, and insightful analysis, Horn Fisher pays homage to the bravery and sacrifice of the sailors who fought in the Battle of Lady Gulf. The book serves as a reminder of the extraordinary feats that can be accomplished in the face of adversity, and it stands as a fitting tribute to the legacy of the U.S. Navy's finest hour.